David Sinclair, a Harvard biologist and anti-aging researcher, has spent more than 54 years on the planet. He has spent several decades of those years making key discoveries in longevity science, building biotech companies, and securing dozens of patents. Dr. Sinclair is well known in the anti-aging space, having written a book on the topic and appeared on the podcast circuit in recent years. He also runs a company, Tally Health, which sells testing kits that estimate someone's biological age. He claims he has de-aged himself by a decade after taking up four simple daily habits in middle age. He has now had 54 birthdays, but claims DNA testing suggests his body is still 43. Biological age looks at the health of cells rather than how long someone has actually been alive. He was prompted to start the healthy routine in his 30s after becoming overweight and drinking too much. He told the insider, My calculated biological age has been going down for the past decade or more to a point where I'm predicted to live at least a decade longer than I would have if I hadn't done anything. It's never too late. He added, Nobody wants to be sick for a decade or have cancer that drags on or be frail. What we're really talking about is preventing those things or squeezing them into the last bit of life. These are his four tips for reversing aging. Exercise three times a week. A cornerstone of almost all anti-aging plans is exercise. It helps to maintain muscles, boost heart health, avoid obesity, and reduce inflammation in the body, which can all drive age-related changes to cells. Dr. Sinclair said that he always aims to undertake aerobic exercise at least three times a week. This can include swimming, cycling, rowing, a brisk walk, or running. I think most people don't appreciate is that exercise isn't just beneficial for your fitness and for your vitality. It actually can stop diseases in their tracks. Um, exercise can slow down cancer. In fact, it can prevent up to 23% of all cancers from occurring. 30% reduction just by doing moderate exercise every week, all cause mortality, right? So what we are, all cause mortality is, bas mortality is basically slowing down aging. That's a 27% reduction in the rate of aging just by exercising. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, recommends all adults should get aerobic exercise for at least 150 minutes a week or 30 minutes a day. Dr. Sinclair also believes in exercising three times a week to the point of losing your breath. When you're moving so fast that you can't carry on a conversation, your body responds positively. Building muscle, improving blood flow, and releasing chemicals that slow aging. Dr. Sinclair made no mention of resistance training, such as weightlifting, but the CDC also recommends this on two or more days a week. But he did say that he uses a standing desk in order to cut back on the amount of time where he is sedentary. One way I do it is I have a standing desk. So my butt actually atrophy. Sitting down is bad for us. You atrophy, you have less muscle, which means your hormone levels, particularly testosterone will go down um, and you become you know, in pain, that's not a good thing. But ultimately, if you have not a lot of muscle in your hips, particularly, you can break your bones when you fall over when you're older. Previous research has suggested that running for just 30 minutes a day could reverse cellular aging by nine years. The scientists from Brigham Young University found that it slowed the shortening of telomeres, part of DNA that gradually gets shorter as we age. Eat just a few hours a day. It's clear based on thousands of years of human existence that uh, eating less is, if it's not starvation or malnutrition, it's good for you. Limiting calorie intake to just a few hours a day can boost insulin sensitivity, protecting against diabetes, and allow time for cells to flush waste substances out of the body that could cause harmful changes, both helping someone live longer. Piles of studies in mice have shown that intermittent fasting prolongs the animals' lives considerably. But there is less evidence of the benefit in humans, however, with some outlier studies pointing to the opposite. Dr. Sinclair revealed that to help avoid aging, he always restricts eating to just a few hours a day. When I'm not eating, or if you choose not to eat for a meal or two, you're turning on the body's defenses against aging. Celebrities, including Mark Wahlberg, Hugh Jackman, and Jennifer Aniston, have all reported using the habit in the past. Drink matcha green tea twice a day. Dr. Sinclair drinks two matcha green teas every day without fail. The teas, made from powdered tea leaves, are known to contain antioxidants, which can help limit damage to cells. But whether or not they can slow aging in humans is yet to be backed up by rigorous scientific studies. 
Dr. Sinclair said the teas are made for him by his partner, the nutritionist and celebrity chef Serena Poon. He added that's got molecules in it that will prevent cancer, among other things like anti-inflammatory properties. Dr. Sinclair also said that he also takes about two resveratrol tablets every day to help slow aging. Research from his lab suggests that the compound, found in red wine, grape juice, and cocoa, can reduce inflammation and activate proteins linked to longevity. But other studies have failed to find the association, prompting some to dismiss the compound, saying it does not help with longevity. Reduce stress and avoid jerks. Stress and being irritated by jerks can all decrease someone's life expectancy, the expert suggested. This is because they can lead to chronic levels of stress, raising inflammation levels that put the body at risk of a whole host of diseases, including heart problems, sleep issues, and obesity. They can also prompt stress-related changes to the DNA in cells, speeding up aging. To combat this, Dr. Sinclair says that he always sets aside some quiet time each day and avoids working with what he termed jerks. He has previously suggested that he meditates and even cited a study in 2019 suggesting the habit could give 50-year-olds the brains of 25-year-olds if they meditated and did yoga for 22 hours a week. I don't stress so much about problems, he said. I do surround myself with people who are not jerks increasingly. Indeed, research shows that not only does stress exacerbate physical health problems like heart attack risk, but it also seems to have negative consequences to the lifespan on its own. In January 2022, Yale psychiatrist Dr. Zach Harvinek told Connecticut Public Radio about his team's 2021 study that found stress contributes to aging outside of its impact on disease and that stress reduction strategies can help combat that. The most surprising aspect of the study is that resilience factors, like emotion regulation, can protect us not just from the mental effects of stress, but also from the effects of stress on our physical health, Harvinek said. Sinclair said prioritizing habits that promote longevity isn't just about living longer. It's about extending your health span or maximizing your healthy years. Here's a concise summary of David Sinclair's four anti-aging habits that everyone can try to incorporate. 1. Exercise regularly. Aim for aerobic exercise three times a week until you're out of breath, which supports heart health. Builds muscle and reduces cellular aging. A standing desk can also help minimize sedentary time. 2. Practice intermittent fasting. Limit eating to a few hours daily to boost insulin sensitivity and cellular health, which may help extend lifespan. Dr. Sinclair restricts his main meal to a few hours each day. 3. Drink matcha green tea. Two cups daily provide antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds that may protect cells and reduce aging markers. 4. Reduce stress and avoid negative people. Chronic stress and toxic relationships can age cells. Set aside time daily to unwind and surround yourself with positive people to improve resilience and support longevity. Dr. Sinclair emphasizes these habits not only extend lifespan but also enhance health span increasing healthy active years. Thank you for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos.